What's going on guys? Today we are at this abandoned Federal Reserve. This place is just completely massive. It's the tallest abandoned building we've been up until this point. There's these crazy huge bank vaults and there's just so much history and there's just a ton going on here. So let's just jump right in and see what we can find. So we're starting off here in the main lobby. And I mean the architecture is just pretty crazy in here. This is definitely probably the best building we've been to. The amount of detail and craftsmanship and everything. So just a real quick disclaimer, we would strongly advise against anyone entering this property as there is armed security, motion detectors, cameras, and police patrol this location pretty regularly. We also had permission to enter this property, so just please stay out of this place. In 1913, the Federal Reserve Act was passed to create a central bank for economic stability. There are a total of 12 Federal Reserve Banks, and one of them is located in Kansas City. The Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City opened in 1914 and moved down the street to a new building in 1921. When it opened, it was the tallest building in Kansas City, as well as Missouri, for a number of years. The building cost $4.3 million to build, or $70.2 million adjusted for inflation. In 1934, it was the first fully air-conditioned office building in Kansas City. Former President Harry Truman leased an office in 1953 on the 11th floor until the Truman Library was completed in Independence in 1957. This building would remain the headquarters of the 10th District until 2008 when the new head office opened a few minutes away. Since it opened, it was planned to be converted into condos and then plans changed to a hotel instead. Renovations started but stopped in 2020 and have not resumed since then. So here's a display just talking about all the states that this, the Federal Reserve Bank served as there are 12 of them. Here's the lobby from just the other side. Um, we're going to go down on the first floor in a second and show you all what that looks like. So one of the rooms shooting off from the lobby looks like it was an auditorium at one point. Movie theater. I would assume probably for the guests to watch. There's a good, I don't know, 50 seats or so, I'd say. Yeah. All in pretty good condition, also. This this isn't burned yet. These, these are usually like Robeson and a lot of the other auditoriums or, you know, seating areas that get burned. So. Not yet. So we're coming up on a pretty massive vault right now. I mean, this is just, it's a good almost three feet thick. I mean, this is just huge. There's a, I think a total of three vaults or two on this, this basement good, area. This is a good, uh, I would say definitely like a thousand plus square feet down here for sure. I mean, this room is, this room is pretty big. I wonder what would be in here if it would be like money or gold. Yeah, as you can see, every room is empty now and there's. Alright, so now we're at the other vault. This is one door. This side is closed and we won't be able to get in that way. But as we head down here, we'll show you all the other door that is accessible. And it's kind of it's kind of cool looking. I see the other vault is a little bit cooler though. But it's still a nice big vault, I would say. And here's the one that's open. So we're actually now, uh, I believe we're on the second vault now. This one is, I would say it's bigger from a square footage standpoint, but the other one definitely looks like, the inside of the other one definitely looks like a vault more than this one. But this one has three doors, where the other one only really had one main. Like this is a vault door right here that was closed, that somebody had closed. For here we got a pretty big room. Nothing left though. There's a ladder. 
we did notice like people started taking cameras down. So maybe maybe they use this ladder. I don't know. It should be the third way in. Yeah, here you guys go. Can't really. Yeah, get let's get at that. This is the uh, the third kind of entrance, like the side entrance here. So this one's still closed. You want to take him to the big room where you saw all the cameras missing? Yeah, let's do that. So now this is the room that he just mentioned where all the cameras are going to be gone. Oh, here's actually an alarm right here that's kind of... Arm reset, test, disarm status program. I'm assuming that would be for this vault, but I'm not, I don't know for sure. It looks like people all like worked down in here too. Like there was, might have been some offices down here. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, so here's the room where we, there's probably a good six, seven cameras, like every corner had a camera and now they're all they're all missing now this is probably about two weeks ago since we we're in here like up here you can see where they were at since then somebody has come through with the ladder presumably the ladder in the other room and just took them all I don't know why it's not as far as I know there's not really metal contents or anything like that and clearly they don't work so but who knows Right here we have a dead pigeon somehow ended up down here. Maybe somebody brought it. I don't know why they would do that, but yeah, there's a pigeon. Kind of gross. So we've come across a security room, it looks like. Let's get this door open. Yeah, try to... There we go. It looks like there's a bunch of screens in here. Probably like seven, eight. Oh, they got taken out, looks like. Yeah. That's really the cool part. Or we can get this. There's a little part to the window where you could hand something small or talk to somebody. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. It's kind of bright. So even in here, which this is a obviously security, it's a private room that the public's not going to see. But even up here, there's just the architecture in this whole building. Just it's just crazy the amount of detail and craftsmanship that just went into everything here to just make this building look as nice as possible, which is something you just don't really see much today. So here's like a X-ray machine for baggage. That you'd see like in an airport, that kind of x-ray machine. It's kind of crazy they just left it here though. Yeah, it's, it's strange. I mean, we've seen it so many times, just expensive things left behind. It just doesn't really seem to make a lot of sense. Most of, them probably, most of this stuff probably worked too when they left. Or just a little All right, so it looks like we've uh, so it looks like we've stumbled upon another X-ray machine right here. What was that? What was that? Oh no! Somebody's in there. Let's. So we found this machine right here. It's called a coin hopper. I guess it just yeah, it just reads your change amount. And you can see the whole inner workings of the machine. The sign says one dollar bills and coins. I've never seen one of these machines opened up before. Here's a change machine for $1 and $5 bills. It's quite a bit smaller than the other machine that we just found. And it's it's also opened up. So 
so we found this room looks like it's another security room once again but something here is actually different compared to the other ones and here let's show them the tv yeah this is something really crazy actually let's try to get that light down a little bit but yeah you can see like an image images are imprinted on the tv let's get a little closer of hope you all can see that i think I think it's coming through but every every square there's like nine of them and they have just the place that was being watched and it's just imprinted on the tv screen which is i don't know that's pretty crazy i didn't even know it could do that and then all these other tvs also have images imprinted this looks like a like main security office or something it could have been more monitors but they've been vandalized and there's a calendar here it yeah. says August 2014 so that would have been eight years ago yeah so and this place closed in what 2008 so I guess they were still still security in here up oh, years later okay so I have zero clue well, I might have an idea I'm not really sure what this is but it looks pretty cool it's down here in the basement Looks like a big engine. Generator? Yeah. Just caterpillar on it. I don't know, is it like a diesel generator or something? Yeah. Maybe. Like, maybe. A, I, I'm not even saying. Might be their. Backup generator? Yeah, so it that, could is that what be. You were thinking? That's what I was thinking. I mean, it looks pretty heavy duty, so they probably need something big for a building like this. Oh, it looks like there's another one also. Okay, there's two. We've, we've never seen these on any of our explorers before. This is the first. Thank you all for watching. If you would like to see part two to the Federal Reserve, that will be posted next week. And if you'd like to see future videos, please like and subscribe.